Still undefeated, here is Hamzat Shimaev making the walk tonight as a middleweight. A lot of people think eventually he's going to be a UFC champion and he's got a big fight in front of him tonight. I mean, this guy's a monster, you know, from his mindset to the way that he competes. Hamzat Shimaev is one of those guys that passes the eye test. The moment you lay eyes on him, you said this kid has something special about him. He has great wrestling, he has great striking, he has great cardio. The guy has it all. And I'm so excited to once again watch him compete and sit here in his seat and call his fight. The work ethic has never been an issue, perhaps the diet at times when it comes to getting down to 170 pounds, but this man is a problem and ready to impose his will here tonight. Hamzat Shumayev, ready to battle and take home that elusive UFC goal. Welterweight contender Bilal remembered the name Muhammad, and I pause at calling him an overachiever, but there were a lot of people who didn't necessarily think that this man was going to vault into the top five and be the factor that he has become in one of the UFC's deepest divisions. Well, when you're this committed, when you are so committed to your craft, and you have an iron will that you will be something special, you can accomplish anything. That's Bilal Muhammad. When you talk to him, you get a sense that this guy believes that he's the best in the world. He doesn't believe it. He applies the work ethic to it to make himself and give himself a chance. It has allowed for him to be exact where he is today. And now he believes he might just be one win away from his first shot at the UFC title. We'll see how it goes for Muhammad tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Dean's in the building. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, here's the bona fide welterweight contender, Bilal. Remember the name Muhammad. This man has been a force, really, ever since he stepped foot in the UFC. But over the last two years, his wrestling and his grappling and his pressure game have gone to an entirely different level. As such, he has vaulted into the top five in the world. And if he can win this fight tonight, don't look now, but Muhammad might be challenging for the title later this year. Start to the round for him. Let's see what he can do with it. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Close guard. Muhammad's back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Well, doing his able best to avoid the ground and pound here. Nice job by Hamza Chimaya. And there it is. Another strike gets through on the ground. <laughs> yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. There it is. Now he's going to mount. 
Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Oh, arm triangle attempt now. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pin in the triangle now. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Midway through round one. Muhammad just got full mount now. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Oh, big elbow. She Mayev's in half guard. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, the ground and pound has been working for him. Nice job here by Muhammad. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Wow, all things considered, pretty good shot from bottom position. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fight. Oh! Trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he had that one hand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy had to work very badly again. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission of big ground and pound. Oh, great reversal to top position by Hamza Chimai. Oh, the ground and pound is coming. Good movement to avoid some of that power coming back. Muhammad's in half guard now. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Straight punch is good. Oh, stuffs the takedown without it. Go here. How about the speed with which he is able to just toss his opponent to the mat? The moment they came close, he knows. I got to fire in my hips, load you up, and throw you. That's exactly what he did. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Well, how about the movement off of the back? Nice job to avoid the ground and pound here by Bilal Muhammad. This is where he wants to do. Moving his head here on the ground, Shane. Oh, he's trying to pin that arm in the triangle now. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. This has got to be the end of the fight. You need to work on his position. Oh, he gets out. He was able to get his momentum going back towards the corner, then back in the opposite direction to get his hips back and his chest down towards the mat. And you just spilled your popcorn all over I the broadcast. Did. I didn't know I had no <laughs> and what a round! All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Ready to fight? Ready. All right. Round two. All right, here we go. This next round is underway. He got worked in that previous frame. We'll see if he has recovered here as he enters this next round. You don't recover in a minute, so he needs to extend the recovery time. Fight at a slower pace. You cannot go in there and slay the leather again, or he'll fight the light. Shut up. That takedown looks kind of beautiful. Now he's going full mount. with the ground and pound. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, he 
He's got the hooks in DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Muhammad's in half guard. Oh, right into Mount. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. Stop. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. What a tight arm bar. Trying to finish the arm bar here. All he's got to do now is take his time, and the finish will present itself. Oh, the submission defense holds up. He gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Nice defense. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Chimaya. Another ground and pound strike lands. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble, scramble and get up. Beautiful transition. Wrist, wrist, wrist. Side control now. Relentless pressure from the top by Hamza Chimai. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. In the half guard. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. All right, side control now. North-south position now. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Muhammad's back to the side control now. Big right hook there by the champ. <clears throat> Muhammad's right back to the full mount here. Oh, big shots from the top. He's got to start kicking. Kicking the body, kicking the head. He's just got to start kicking. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, how good was that judo toss? Mark doing work with the jab. Gets to the single card. way with him here. Mm, nice. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your legs able to hold your opponent in position it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side. Underhook, this is a great position for a top fighter. And the horn sounds on round two. Stop, stop, stop. All right, there's the horn, and what a round, champ. We got to talk about the knockdown. When you knock somebody down like that, it's got, it's got to be kind of fun to stretch your way back to the stage. I mean, you are 10 foot tall. When you can drop <laughs> another person with a strike, you are 10 foot tall. Now, the issue is he did not find the finish, and he used a lot of energy trying to finish that fight. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory.
You ready to fight? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship match. Oh, massive overhand legs. Nice. Nicely done. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio's so good. Great timing on that double leg. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Oh, he's tight. Guillotine. That guillotine is tight. Job putting himself in position. She Mayev's in half court. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submission. She Mayev's eye is starting to swell now. Get them out here. Well, landing several strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent. Good work here by Hamzat Shimai. All right, half guard. Now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want... Oh, he's going for his arm now. What a tight arm bar. Oh, you better tap or that thing's going to snap. He's got it isolated. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. Okay, he's got it. That's it. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Fighter trying to pass here, Uba gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Muhammad's back in full mouth. He's gotta be careful here. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. Well, he's got his back now. The hard ground and pound is paying dividends. He has opened up a cut. Take his back. Take his back. Take his back. Both hooks. Muhammad's got his back yet again. The way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Muhammad's in half guard. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch is starting to land in the top position. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. First position on the ground. Beautifully done by him there. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense has done a great job just making sure he leaves nothing long, no submission attempts. Even when they get him, he continues to stay calm and patient, and he's defending his take the submission. She Mayev's in half guard now. Oh, that is some severe swelling. I hate to speculate, not a doctor, but you might be staring at a fractured orbital there. Shimaev's right back to the full mount. Posture's up now and lands a vicious head strike. He's very accurate in the ground upon and is showing because he's landing so consistently. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound. Oh, nice transition. He's got him flat on his back. She 
Zayev's in half court. Muhammad Zay is closing up. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. Heading back to the corner after that round, Shimaev Zai is looking pretty bad at this point, DC. The cup man's gonna hustle in there and see if he can work on that, or that eye might swell shut. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's gonna do much, and if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head. And he's got to be proactive Ready. instead of reactive Ready. in terms of the defense. All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about this championship round. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in the world. Judo toss there. It's not as easy as it looks, I can assure you. Muhammad's now dealing with a cheap cut. Good, solid strike on the ground. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the back? Oh, he got to his spot. Short elbows, short elbows. All right, continuing to target that swelled area, and it is not looking good now. Tighter, tighter. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle is tight. How in the world did he escape that He's submission? Good work with the ground and pound here by Hamza Chimai. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, Jonathan, he just gets up. All right, so a wise decision by him to continue to attack that cut, and it's getting wider by the minute. It's getting wider by the minute. This guy is, is, is a fantastic fighter, and he's as smart as they come. So the moment that cut opened up, you knew that that would become his focus, and we are seeing it very clear right now. Under three minutes now to go in the round. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Great defense by this fighter. This works. You stand up. You need to work. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Back and forth we go. It takes two to tango, and man, have these two individuals tangoed tonight. I might run it back at some point, no matter how this one goes. It's one of those fights where when you look at these two and the damage on their faces, the work that they have both put in, you realize and you appreciate what these fighters do inside the octagon. They're both hurt. They're both beat up. And both of these guys have shown a tremendous amount of resilience to put themselves in position to win this fight. Well, this fight has been absolutely crazy. Both fighters continuing to target the head and the face of the other. I feel like we're going to get like an ambulance pick with these two guys later. Today. Yeah, they are both beat up. They are both unwilling to take a step back. They are both wearing the damage, but both okay with it in order to have a good, fun fight. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's gonna be the last man standing. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more. Nice judo toss for him there. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved, I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back, you need to be up on an elbow, right. you need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the back. Well, I'm not sure if there's a facial fracture of some kind, but the striking approach has certainly worked tonight, and his opponent is hurt. Oh, now he's attacking the arm triangle. 
Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. He's going to choke him. There it is. It's work. That's going to work. Right. Yeah, Paige and Alexio Lennox. Somehow he got out, though. Great job clearing the hips, facing, and getting out of that Ezekiel choke attempt. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Bilal Muhammad. Well, at this point, I would use the word critical to describe the condition of that eye not looking good, champ. No, he's beat up. He's been battered, he's been bruised. He got cut early in the fight, and you understood that if he didn't change something, it would get much worse. He didn't change anything, and now we're here. Muhammad's pass is denied. Wow. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. Great high output fight thus far. Both fighters incurring damage. Seems like whoever can dig deeper is probably going to win. Yeah, it's going to come down to who's tougher. You know, when you have an evenly matched fight like this, a war, you don't know who's going to get their hand raised. Both of these men have fought beautifully tonight, and both have had their moments. Ooh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. All right, so as the cut man gets to work, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round. Well, he's got some work to do. The cut man's going to have to work a miracle because this guy was on the receiving end of some real damaging shots. And if he doesn't do something different defensively, it's going to get worse. And if it gets worse, the fight may be stopped. You ready to fight? Ready. It is the fifth and final round. Nice jab by Bilal Muhammad. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects. And now... That's... You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Mixed martial arts, folks. This is absolutely crazy. Both fighters dealing with critical damage. And There's blood everywhere. Fans, stand up and give applause to these two men who are landing all on the line in the octagon. Both dealing with cuts, both critical, but both unwilling to take a step back to your entertainment. In the half guard, Shimaev's back in full mount. Now he's got good body position, yup. Elbows, elbows. Oh, just a merciless approach here on the ground, continuing to target that cut. Beautiful ground strikes landing. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Oh, nice. right back to the full mount here. Oh, another shot gets through. Doctor might have to step in soon. Arch, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Hamza Chimai. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Now he's going full mount. Nice position. Oh, huge elbow. Postures up and delivers a massive ground and pound punch to the head. That was a slick transition. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Oh, the damage just continues to be inflicted. And with respect to the athletes, if this was a movie, I might just walk out. I don't need to see it. I mean, I just don't even see it. it, it it's to a point now where it's getting a bit uncomfortable. You have a fighter who's clearly outmatched, and his corner will not save him. This is crazy. 
Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Bilal Muhammad. Oh, this is getting kind of hard to watch, right? He targets the cut and lands a strike right on him. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. So how about that as he pounds him out for the TKO? Prioritize the finish tonight. Absolutely gets it with style points. A huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete tell you what they're going to do, and then they do it. This guy told us he was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what he did. Him and his team are going to have a fantastic time tonight celebrating. They should all be very proud. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 29 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bilal, remember the name. Muhammad!